Hello everybody, it is Lore today. Um, glad to be hosting a video. Um, today I figured I would talk about the whole controversy around Halo Wars 2 announcing that they're going to have uh, microtransactions in them, or in it. Um, and people are kind of saying, you know, why didn't they listen to us? We hated the rec system. Uh, you know, we hate microtransactions in Halo. And I happen to agree that they probably shouldn't have a place in the game, but I was gonna, I think I'm gonna make a case to explain to you why I think that Rex and Halo 5 were objectively a success, and then point out how the Halo Wars 2 microtransaction system, from what we've been told from channels like Green School, or Ready Up Live, and uh, Ultimate Halo, and Halo Follower, and all those big channels that kind of have early access to the menus and the game and stuff, and they got to see uh, the inner workings of Halo Wars 2's, uh, system, what they've told us, and I want to kind of point out how that is a lot less intrusive than the rec system, which wasn't very intrusive to begin with. Now, Halo 5, I think it's pretty obvious that pretty much everyone that's vocal doesn't like the recs, but I also think that you have to look at the sales numbers of the rec cards, like, Halo Championship Series back in 2015 made like God, how much money was it? I think it was two million dollars. Yeah, they made two million just off Rex. So, you know, like it or not, you have to admit that that signifies that people do like the option of being able to pay to get your weapons or armors if you don't have the type of time to grind but you have the money. So, it shows that the fan base overall enjoys having the option there. Now, you can argue that the vocal people will clearly make it clear that the community as a whole hates them, but I don't think so, because I think that the ones that hate it are the only ones that are vocal about it, whereas the people who do like the Rex tend to kind of stay away from discussion because of how pretty much everyone hates the rec system. Um, so, I mean, I think that's why they're returning. I think that's why microtransactions are returning in Halo Wars 2, and I think that Halo 5's rec system, while controversial in a lot of ways, ultimately proves to be a successful thing, not only financially for 343 and Microsoft, but also customer satisfactory-wise, because obviously if people didn't want the packs, they wouldn't be buying them. So, um, definitely I think that Rex are honestly something that the fan base wants in moderation, and I think that Halo Wars 2, which I'm going to get into now, does them perfectly. So, in Halo Wars 2, uh, it looks like the Rex cards, or whatever they're going to be called, are only going to be tied down to one mode, which is Blitz. Or, I guess, technically two, because you'll have Blitz and then Blitz Firefight, but Blitz. So that mode is going to be where those cards exist. So you can still play the standard, you know, real-time strategy formula of Halo Wars with base building and economy management and unit production and micro management and stuff without ever getting any of these cards. You can still play that game. And also, from what I've been told and seen on Twitter and on YouTube by uh, Green Skull and a few others, is that we will be able to earn these cards extraordinarily easy, or, uh, yeah, extraordinarily easily through campaign, through multiplayer, uh, through anything. So it sounds to me that we really like they're not going to matter that much. Obviously, if you want to try Blitz out. Um, you might, you know, have some less cards than other people, but the way Halo Wars unit countering works, you know, a low-level infantry unit could beat a high-level aircraft unit. Or, for, or uh, an example, uh, a high-level vehicle, or a low-level vehicle unit could beat a high-level infantry unit. So, you know, even if you don't have the same tier units, you can still win by countering correctly, which is a good thing. Because in RTS, like Halo Wars is all about strategy. So, I ultimately think, and that's similar to how in Halo 5's Warzone, you know, you can wreck the entire game with nothing but a battle rifle 
and uh, an assault rifle. If you're good, at, if oh, if you, the sandbox in Halo 5 allows for even the low tier weapons to easily beat the high tier ones, and I think that Halo Wars 2 is probably going to have that system too, with how Halo Wars has always had the traditional rock paper scissors countering system. So overall. I think that the oh, and I forgot to mention the uh, the cards in Halo Wars 2 are also permanent use. So, if you unlock a Scorpion in Halo Wars 2, you will never have to unlock another Scorpion. Now it has a recharge during the match you're playing it in, and you have to wait until you have energy to get it again. Um, but that means that you'll never have to like you'll never have to get another Scorpion. Whereas in Halo 5, if you use your Scorpion then you have to hope that you get another one in the next pack you open. So all that all that stuff kind of reassures me that they did listen to our complaints with Halo 5's rec system and I think the Halo Wars 2, you know, quote unquote rec system is going to be uh, a lot more polished and overall I'm pretty excited to see how Blitz actually plays. Um I'm personally not that interested in it because to me an RTS is all about the base building, the the economy management and the battles, but you know, this is for the arcade kind of players that just want to go in with the units and you know, fight big battles. So um overall, this doesn't ruin the excitement for me and I don't think it should for anyone. I think that these microtransactions are going to be extremely minimal. And unlike Halo 5's development, Halo Wars 2 looks like it's going very smoothly. Um, I mean, hell, we're having two betas. There's another beta later this year. So uh, overall, I really do think that this game is going to be great. So you guys can leave what you think about the microtransaction announcement in Halo Wars 2 in the comments. And uh, I will see you guys later. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Halo Collective for news media. And anything and everything on Halo.